Hey everyone, Yui here with updates to my prior episodes of English Dub History and what's up next. First and foremost, thanks to everyone that subscribed in the last two weeks. I'm sure a lot of you are here from my Twitter post about the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Animax dub, and some of you are here about a certain news update that recently happened that I will talk about in a little bit. I've more than doubled my sub count this month, so thank you all very, very much. Secondly, our friend Hakshon, aka Bob, is finally going to have his latest adventures available in English. On August 21st, Viz announced it has licensed Genie Family 2020 for release on Crunchyroll with English subtitles. And now we've got official confirmation on our potbelly Genie's name, as well as the rest of his family. In my first video, I mentioned Hakshon and Akubi were referred to as Hashu and Ya'an in official Tatsunoko materials, but in stuff by Viz so far, they are referred to as King Genie Hakshon and Akubi, just like the Japanese. The Genie family has one more addition after 50 years, Puta, who appears when somebody... farts. And they're taking care of Kantaro, Khan's grandson. So it's clear they're doing a straight translation with no extra localization, even with officially provided names. There is no word on a dub as of now, but who knows? Genie Family 2020 will be available this autumn season. And now, on to the big news. News about our favorite blue robot cat, Doraemon, or should I say in this case, Albert. Remember in part 1 how I mentioned Jerome Langlois had VHS tapes of the Adventures of Albert and Sydney dub, but was too afraid of legal repercussions if they were uploaded? Well, good news, he's finally posted them, and we get a glimpse into Doraemon's English debut. I have to say, Jerome did an excellent job on the music, it feels catchy and memorable. It's cool to see in here because I love the 80s anime dub vibe. I think my favorite piece is this. <laughs> The clips include Albert and Sydney's intro, which matches the previously confirmed lyrics, and bits of random episodes. We also have confirmation of the names of Jayan and Suneo. Jayan is, indeed, Buster, and Suneo is Ricky. Thanks to some super sleuths on behind the voice actors, fans of Canadian dubs have identified some of the voices in this dub, and thanks to Steven Bednarski, one of the actors in the show, I can verify some of the cast. Albert is voiced by A.J. Henderson, better known in the PBS show Arthur for voicing Ed Crosswire and Grandpa Dave. Sydney's voice is provided by Steven Bednarski, a child voice actor also known for Astro Boy in the 1980 series. He confirmed with me via email that this is indeed his voice, and he's glad someone caught it. And Sydney's dad is voiced by Michael Rudder, a voice actor that has worked on other Sinar projects like Maya the Bee, Animal Crackers, and Arthur. These are the actors that Steven could remember, as he was 14 at the time of production, so he doesn't recall the voices of Buster, Ricky, and Lucy. He remembers AJ best because they worked together every day in the studio, but otherwise, it was so long ago and the same actors worked on projects in Montreal, it's easy to get them confused. Steven went on to confirm the director and script adapter of the dub, and the person who wrote the opening tune was Tim Reed. Steven also said Tim's father, Ernie Reed, helped sometimes. Tim was a common director for Sinar, working on numerous projects like Maya the Bee, Samurai Pizza Cats, Pinocchio the Series, and, who would have guessed, Bob in the Bottle. The translation process sounds similar to Odex's dub. They would get in a rough translation of the Japanese dialogue and adapt it from there, but I'm not sure if they were on as much of a time crunch. Steven went into extensive detail on the dubbing process circa 1985. Sinar used a technique called the Rhythmo Band Dialogue Replacement Technique, a technique apparently common in Montreal and Europe at the time. If you'd like to see a general rundown, please check the description. A few interesting notes. Sydney's dad is depicted smoking, something normally edited out of kids' media. I don't know, maybe it's viewed differently in Canada circa 1985. Ricky's friend from Brazil mentions Japan, meaning the show possibly kept its location as Japan, or it's just an offhand reference to this Brazilian's travels. And one last note, in my emails with Steven, he mentioned different lyrics to the Albert and Sydney opening. Albert and Sydney, walking on air, Albert and Sydney, oh what a pair. He followed it up with, or something like that. Is it possible there's a second verse? Might be worth looking into. Shout out to BTVA users IMB, AB Hodgson, Alog, and Millicent for identifying the voices of this long lost version. And shout out to Steven Bednarski too for giving me info on the cast and his memory of working on the show. If you want to see what he's up to these days, well, it's not anime, but he's an expert in medieval history. Link to his website in the description. And a big huge shout out to Jerome for ripping and uploading this piece of anime dub history and kicking off this chain of information. His Facebook page link is on screen and in the description. Please give him a like and check out his stuff. 
It is incredible we found so much info in such a short amount of time. And here's to hoping we'll be seeing Albert and Sydney again. Thanks for watching. My name is Yui, and if you liked this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leave in the comments what did you think? Do you like the uncovered dub of Albert and Sydney? Please follow my Twitter for updates on videos, live streams, and everything else I'm doing. Usually I stream Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link to my Twitch channel is on screen and in the description. And with that, shout out to all of my supporters on Twitch. Pike Mintz, Straw Hat Ryan, Jen, Ritsu's Ass, Borkovsky II, and Maximum Austin. I'm currently raising money for Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, and these kind people donated last year, and one even donated this year too. If you'd like to donate too, link is in the description. And that's all for now, I'll see you all again next time.